Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to talk to you about best jeans cut for hourglass figure. So I have hourglass figure and I am not size zero, not size UK eight, not size UK 10. I'm talking about hourglass probably above UK size 10, I'm 12. Uh, so m more curvy because if you are really really slim doesn't matter what shape you are you probably look good in anything this probably will also work for pear shapes so hourglass means that the measurement around your shoulders is almost the same as your hips and your waist is 8 to 10 inches smaller than your hips my waist is 10 or 9 and a half inches smaller than my hips. It's very difficult to find jeans that fit you and look good. Now this is not a rule. You wear what you want. Even I wear the things that I know probably don't flatter me that much but it could be because they are comfortable or I just like the, the pair of jeans. So don't listen to what I'm saying. This is just my opinion and this is just if you want to make the most I suppose out of your figure. Another fa factor playing big role in this is your height. I am five foot five with big hips. That makes me look a bit square and dumpy. If I wear heels, I look better straight away. So some of these jeans that you shouldn't be wearing look okay if you put just a pair of heels on. So I would say if you are above five, six, five, seven, you probably can again get away with more. Another thing you probably will notice when you have hourglass that your bum is quite flat. My bum is like a pancake and I've been working out for years and you know I know I've got a muscle there but my bum is still quite flat. Also if you're my age or older you probably have a bit of a pouch here. So we have to take all these things into con consideration. Now with the pear shape, um, again, you have very small waist, but you also very small here. So that's another story, how to balance that out. And your hips, like my hips, start coming out straight from my waist. With pear shape, it's more of a gradual, gradual wideness. So your hips don't start from your waist, they gradually get bigger and you are probably the biggest at your um, top thigh. So let's talk first about the type of denim. To me, 100% denim is a no-no, one that has no stretch whatsoever. First of all, because you want your jeans to fit you everywhere because your waist is so much smaller than your hips, if you buy rigid jeans, you have to buy them big enough for your hips, but then they will be huge on your waist. Another thing is, those jeans are usually quite thick, therefore adding thickness to your already big hips. And as you wear them, they stretch and get baggy uh, and make you look even bigger. That's why I always choose my, my jeans with at least 2% elastin because that will hug your curves. So you can buy them a bit smaller in the hips so they can fit you in a waist because with the stretch they can stretch over your hips. But if you buy just rigid 100% cotton jeans, you have to buy them exactly the size for your hips and then the waist will be huge. Another thing to take into consideration is the color of your jeans. Obviously, the lighter they are, the bigger they will make you look. Black jeans are wonderful. I can get away with any shape of jeans, really, if they are in black, especially that really dark black black. So the next thing we will talk about is the rise. And rise means the measurement from your crotch to the top of the waistband. So we usually say low-waisted, mid-waist or high-waisted or extra high-waisted. I think the best rise for hourglass is just a normal mid-rise. That is just the 
hits your belly button or slightly above but they can be classed as high-waisted then so you just have to try them on so right now I have on a pair of jeans they are low-waisted and I will show you the problem with that so low-waisted jeans the waistband will hit you where your hips starting to get really really wide so that will make you look wider also because we have a bit of meat here you will get muffin top so can you see how low they are they are like two inches below my belly button I happen to love these jeans and I still wear them but what I do is wear something looser so it hides my muffin top but that doesn't give me any shape really and makes me look quite wider another thing you can see they are quite light here therefore will make my hips look wider so I am not talking today about brands of jeans because you have to go and try hundreds I must say I prefer the more expensive designer jeans I think the denim quality is better and the cut is better as well but you can of course find cheaper jeans that might fit you but you will have to try hundreds so these are these ones are from um, salsa jeans they are Portuguese make I buy them from Portugal but they come really quickly um, they have really nice fit on a bum so these are very awkward for me to wear because I am always conscious of my muffin top. I'm conscious that this is making my hips much wider, but I really like them. But I would say they are not the most flattering. Now let's try a pair of jeans that are sort of regular waist. Now these ones are to me mid waist, regular waist. So as you can see, they are just under my belly button, on my belly button. To me, this is the best rise for me. One, because it holds my belly in. I don't really get much of a muffin top. And it doesn't cut me at the widest bit of my hips which starts about here whereas the other ones were here so that's where you saw the waistband and that's the solid color so that's all you see so your hips look much wider these are one of my favorites these are um, seven for all mankind Roxanne cropped slim I think they are, yeah, cropped slim. Now let's talk about high-waisted jeans. These are probably my least favorite. They are probably really good for our glass because they give you waist. But the problem with high-waisted jeans is that when the band cuts you in a waist, you will push out your pouch. If you are going to choose high-waisted jeans make sure they have a lot of stretch and when you do them up they really really hold your belly in when I sit down I still will get the pouch and they are not very high-waisted I would say they are the band is not even an inch past my belly button but they are considered high-waisted I wouldn't go for very those extra high-waisted and don't even start me on mum jeans we have talked about mum jeans on this channel. <laughs> I think they the worst, the most unflattering jeans in the world. And they have everything wrong with them. They are usually 100% thick cotton denim. The waist is very small, squeezes you in, pushes your belly out, flattens your bum, makes your bum that long. And they usually also are tapered at the bottom, which makes you look like a triangle. I don't know who looks good in mum jeans, honestly. 
So yes, high-waisted jeans are fine as long as they are not too high. They have loads of stretch and they really hold you in here. So we've talked about the color, about the fabric content and the rise. Now let's talk about the leg shape because this is also very important. There are some jeans that I will be talking about that I don't have for that very reason. Mum jeans. <laughs> um, another pair, I have a picture, I will, I sort of manipulated this picture because I got it from internet and the person was very slim, but I gave this person bigger hips and these are the peg leg, you know, the ones that are tapered. So you can see how and flattering they are on big hips. They basically make you look like a upside down triangle. There is nothing to balance your hips. So for me, that shape is a no-no. Another shape which has been in fashion forever is skinny jeans. I love skinny jeans and I wear skinny jeans all the time, but they are not the most flattering. So let me put the pair of skinny jeans that I think is not flattering. So the worst pair of skinny jeans would be low-waisted, really, really skinny, I mean like leggings. These are the worst because there are skinny jeans that are not too bad, but the ones that hug your leg like leggings are the worst. So this pair is mid-waist, it's a dark color, so that's good, but it is very, very skinny all the way down. And let me tuck that t-shirt in. And that really emphasizes my hips because they go right to the point at the skinniest part of my leg. You can correct that a bit. You can turn up the jeans at the bottom so that will give it a bit of bulk, therefore make it wider at the bottom to balance your hips. So that looks a bit better. Another thing you can do is put chunky shoes down the bottom. So skinny jeans look good with boots because the boot will give you bulkness and width at the bottom or trainers. So if I put trainers on, I'm adding a bit of bulkness to the bottom and that will balance a bit my hips. So you can see the difference of having them turned up with some pair of trainers, chunky boots and having them all the way down with just flat flip-flops. I think a very flattering shape is slim slim jeans so they are almost as like skinny they hug you everywhere but at the bottom of the ankle they don't hug your ankle they go a bit more straight and also i love it when they are cropped because if they are straight and go right down covering your ankle again there is no balance you don't see any uh, part of your body that is slimmer than the rest of you they sort of make you look quite straight but if they are a bit cropped and I'm not talking like mid calf they just need to be I don't know inch two inches uh, above your ankle so have a look at this you've already seen them so these are really like they are mid waist right on my belly button they are cropped and they are straight slim. So can you see at the bottom, um, they are a bit wider, therefore they balance my hips, but then you can see my slimmer ankle. So it's all balancing each, each other. But look what happens when I put heels on. They give me straight away much longer legs and make me look slimmer. That's why I think taller people can get away with much more. Now let's talk about bootcut jeans. They're supposed to be the most flattering for hourglass. I am not so convinced. Bootcut trousers, yes. But jeans is a bit different story. They have to be really, really specific shape of 
bootcut jeans. First of all, I would say if you are my height and my size, you need to wear them with high heels and have them quite long. Otherwise, they can still make you very square because your hips will be exactly the same um, size as the bottom and then you look really skinny sort of near your knees and you will be like an hourglass but in the wrong place, just all down the bottom. So if you are wearing bootcut jeans, I would say, especially if you are short, if you are tall, go for it. But if you are short like me or shorter, you need them long to the floor and you need heels that will really elongate you. Also, it's important when the boot cut starts. If it starts straight from the knee and goes really, really wide, this is a no-no. This will just emphasize your hips, I feel. Um, you just feel, well, the bottom of you looks exactly like here. I think the boot cut should be slim boot cut, which means that from your knee, very, very gently goes wider and not too wide, not like a bell bottoms. I don't have boot cut jeans because I don't feel I, I look good in them, only if I wear heels. And I don't want to wear heels all the time, especially with jeans. I have this pair, which was that exact boot cut, you might remember I bought it last year. Um, these are from River Island, very comfortable, high-waisted, and they were quite wide at the bottom. I chopped them. I chopped them so they are now cropped boot cut, which can be flattering, but again, depending how wide that boot cut is. If it's too wide, I don't feel it looks right. So have a look. So these are cut off quite short. They are, I would say, three inches, four inches above my ankle. I don't feel this is flattering look. So you see my hips. I had to cut them that high because if I went a bit lower, they were even wider. And the um, mini boot cut crop trousers are fine for hourglass, but again, I feel you need heels, even small heels. So for example, these ones, I feel they look straight away better. And again, these are quite light color as well, so it will emphasize your bigger bits. But do you know what I mean? If I was gonna wear boot cut, I probably prefer it cropped because I go wide here, slim here, wider and slim again. I absolutely love boot cut trousers, but like I said, trouser fabric hangs totally differently to jeans. Um, so I don't have proper bootcut jeans to show you, long ones. I hope I've explained myself what to look for when you're buying bootcut jeans. I feel if you don't wear heels with them, you start looking a bit square and dumpy. Okay, the last shape of jeans are cropped straight. And why cropped? If you wear straight jeans, and again, they need to hug you quite a bit on your hips, and not be too wide. They have to be properly straight. And why cropped? Because, again, to keep that balance, if you have them right down to your ankle, shame I don't have jeans like this, but I wasn't going to buy jeans um, that I would never wear just to show you. But I hope you, you understand what I'm saying. Because the bottom of the jeans will be as wide or tiny bit smaller than your hips. If they go right to the floor, so that's all you will see, you will look like a rectangle. Whereas if they are cropped, again, you see a bit of your slimmest portion of your leg. Therefore, you go in, out, in, out. And it's all balanced. So this pair, they are old. So I will not be listing all these jeans. I might list some of my favorites. Um, 
in a description box but you know none of these are that new maybe I've got a couple of newish pairs of jeans I just have lots of jeans because I love jeans that's what I live in um, so I might just list some of my favorites but um, this is just to we are talking about the shape not the make of jeans so these ones are proper straight but as you can see they are cropped and I don't think they are the most flattering. These ones are a bit big actually. They don't hang me enough in a hip. They go straight. I would want them to hug me a bit more here and then go straight. So I feel I look quite wide in them. But if you put heels on, even small heels, they look straight away better. They give you the height. They elongate your that slimmest portion of your leg and they look straight away better let me show you another pair of straight because you can get slim straight just straight um, you can get relaxed straight don't ever get relaxed straight <laughs> because they will be buggy in all the wrong places so I would say these ones are just normal straight but like I said they are a bit um, too baggy they are a bit big in my waist but they are okay now this is probably my favorite pair of straight jeans they are black they're gonna make me look skinnier they hug me everywhere the the bottom of the leg is not too wide they are cropped and with the heel they look amazing you see they are maybe not as wide as the first pair of straight but they are still straight let me put just little heel on and now I've put little heels with it again they make me look taller um, they elongate the slimmest part of my leg and my foot and I think this is very very flattering shape for hourglass and they are quite high-waisted but we talk what you need to look for in high-waisted jeans. Another thing that I'm balancing this with is these puffy sleeves. Although my shoulders are already, they are not wide wide, but they are sort of matching my, my hips. If you could make them even wider, the balance would be wonderful. In fact, let me put a very funky, very 80s, Grecian t-shirt that has shoulder pads to show you then how you emphasize the hourglass but sort of complement it instead of making it look worse. So I love this t-shirt it reminds me of 80s so much I've already worn things like this once but I think this gives you like a perfect balance you have the shoulders the hips makes you small in a waist and then you get a bit of width at the bottom and then the slim ankle. I think this is like perfect jean shape and you probably half of it is that you know the fact that they are black <laughs> so straight away they will make you look slimmer. Uh, I think I've gone through most of the shape of jeans um, I hope it all made sense and that it was helpful and again this is not a rule remember you wear what you want but I think you know like I do it with makeup it's all about optical illusion you enhance some things and you hide some things I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye